Johnson's Digital Protractor comes in this nice wooden case because it deserves the protection. All of the components are very well made. Most of them are all stainless steel and finely machined. The included pieces make this a very versatile tool. You get blades that are 5 and 7 8 inches long and 11 and 7 8 inches long. You also get the 2 and 3 quarter inch long acute angle blade. And the machine square helps you calibrate the unit should that ever become necessary. The mode switch lets you divide the scale from a full 360 degrees to a pair of 180 degree segments or 490 degree segments, whichever makes it easiest to do your job. And you can go back to any of those modes whenever you want. The display reads in full degrees across the top, and the bottom line shows you degrees, minutes, and seconds, which is far more accurate. When you need to be ultra precise, that bottom scale is going to make it easier for you. The long blade ends are machined at precisely 30 and 45 degrees. The acute angle arm has a 60 degree angle on it. And swapping out or positioning the blades is made very easy with a slider switch that locks it in place wherever you need it. The base arm can rotate 360 degrees and also has a slider to lock it in place when you want to. Installing the acute angle arm is an old tools job and it helps you get around obstacles or hard to reach areas. The Johnson's Digital Protractor is very sensitive so to include this wheel that lets you sneak up on a very precise setting if you need to. And there is a downside to having such an accurate tool because you'll find out what you used to call 90 degrees may not be exactly that. Trying to adjust a miter gauge or other tool to get this to exactly 90 degrees isn't as easy as it sounds. This angle has always been 30 degrees to me. But then I checked it with the Johnson Digital Protractor and found that I've always been wrong. And when it comes to doing layouts or positioning pieces for assembly, nothing will get you closer than this Johnson Digital Protractor. Once you learn to trust this display, you can be spot on perfect. There isn't time in a video like this to even get close to showing you all the uses for a tool like this. But once you get a high quality tool like the Johnson Digital Protractor in your shop, you're going to find all kinds of ways to improve your work. And maybe even get done a little early.